You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to Brockton viewers. I have our library director, Paul Angel. Paul, nice to see you. Good to see you, Mark. A um, lot of things happening at the library. Library is cooking. It is. With gas, it so is. to speak, right? <laughs> um, newest thing at the library is the kind of re energy going along with the teen zone. Definitely. Uh, Diana Ortiz. Diana Ortiz has done a great job. Uh, she's started a Facebook page for the teens, which is getting some traction. My, my daughter came home from school today and actually mentioned an event that's going on in the, in the teen zone today. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamal Eversley is in there, and, and if my daughter's paying attention, that says something. There you go. Yeah. So anybody can sign up for the Facebook. I got invited to sign up for the Facebook. I'm far from being a teen. <laughs> but, sign up anyway. Um, I like it's it. There's a, a nice room yeah. for teens. There's activities, and I'm looking at what you sent, sent me over. Uh, there's games, there's a poetry slam, mm -hmm. voices of leadership, drop-in artists, that's who you're talking about, Jamal yep. Eversley, um, teen bystander intervention sessions. So that would be, I know a little bit about that because my Bridgewater Rotary talked about it, but if people are getting harassed or bullied right. or something like that, you want to step up to the plate and do something about it. Not, right. not get involved in a melee or anything, but help someone else that I'm, might be getting browbeaten or something like that. Um, Absolutely. And there's a teen advisory board. There is. Correct. So teens can kind of govern themselves to a certain extent and come up with initiatives mm -hmm. and then they come to Diana and you and all of a sudden it's a new thing happening at the library. And they've already taken advantage of that. They've, they've asked for games and they've asked for uh, platforms and, and I've, I've said yes. Sure, the library can be a cool place, mm -hmm. right? Very That's much the so. whole goal, right? Yeah. Okay, so besides that, April School Vacation Week is coming up, and there's a lot of activities leading up to it and throughout. Let's let's talk about some of them. We're going to keep this on the air till the 20th, so some of them might have been mm -hmm. passed by the sure. time we talk about it. But the first thing that's coming up is a Meet the Author talk this Saturday the 14th, uh, upcoming Saturday, April 14th, and talk about that. Um, gonna have to put oh, my glasses. glasses on. You, okay, so so you know what? I'll you, I get, these are your notes, so I'll just say who it is. the The book is The Matrix of Emotions, and the author is Nichelle Page. Yes. So, and can the, you tell us about that? Um, uh, Nichelle's coming in. We're, uh, it's a talk that's being sponsored through uh, through the reference department through Paula Jones. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nichelle's going to come in and talk about her latest book. Um, honestly, I haven't read the book, so I don't want to say too much about it. Okay. Um, well, you don't want to give it away anyway. That's right. That's right? right. And that's two to five. That's in the Driscoll Art Gallery. Right. That's upstairs. upstairs. On the, with the nice skylights and all the windows. That's right. And is there still artwork on the wall? There is from Philip Hesaurus' last event, the, the trauma injury, um, the various groups who deal with trauma, uh, the art that happened there, and the poetry. And, it's all still hanging up. It looks great. And our own Jay Miller was there to capture that. Yes. So we will have that for you on cable if you weren't able to attend. I saw the booklet. The booklet was phenomenal. Yep. I heard it was a phenomenal event. I felt bad that that was one of the days I couldn't go there. But I get to relive it on TV. That's right. So I'm it, all set. It was I'm, packed. And, I'm and, good. And Jay did a great job filming it. Okay. Uh, the next thing up is the continuing immigration di dialogue series. This time, this is the Life and Times of Rocky Marciano. And right. It was originally scheduled for the 24th. But I called over and I said, That's you can't right. do it that day because the Taste of Metro South is on the 24th. And mm -hmm. Todd Petty, who's presenting <laughs> his supermarket with the sausages, <laughs> is like a big hit at the, yeah. at, the, at the Taste of Metro South every year. So you can't deny the people the Chinese and Italian <laughs> sausages, so they moved it up a week. Uh, and it was a good call and a good catch on your part. Now, I think that's going to be a very well-attended event. Rocky Marciano mm -hmm. was beloved in Brockton. There, if, if, you, if you want a shrine to Rocky Marciano, besides at the Historical Society, Petty's Markets has it. There's, yeah. there's the, his father, Charlie, who was well-known in Brockton, wrote a whole little booklet on the story of Rocky Marciano. It was around the corner from where Rocky lived, okay. not too far in Ward 2. And there's Rocky Marciano wine over there. It's, it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's like Rocky Marciano heaven over, <laughs> to, uh, over at, at Petty's Market. So... Who better than to former city councilor at large, Todd Petty, than to talk about Rocky? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that event, and, and uh, I know Bill Hogan is, is hanging, ha, has hung up some stuff that uh, some Rocky Marciano. And we're going to be there, but it's better to go. 
It's yeah, more it's fun much in better person. To go. We'll have it in case you can't go or you have another conflict or a meeting or something else. But it's good on TV, but it's better in person. Right. Okay. And I got to tip my hat to Melise for, for, for setting all these Immigration Dialogue Series events up. They're, and the they've been wonderful. mayor's coming in May, I think. Mayor's we'll coming in May. bring you back and we'll talk about that one later. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday the 21st, uh, we went to the 14th, the 17th, the 21st, a book brunch. A brunch with right, author right. and actress Marianne Leone. Tell me yeah, about that. Well, Marianne has been in uh, numerous uh, films, movies since, since, the, since the 80s. She's still an active, uh, act, active actress. Most recently, she, was, uh, she played a role in, in um, The Sopranos. Mm. And it's really great to have her come up. She, she lives in, in, in Kingston, Massachusetts. Um, I don't know if she's going to be talking about her foundation. She, her, her son had, di had died er early, and, and she set up a foundation around that tragedy. Okay. Uh, but I, I'm sure it's going to be a great event, and um, I, I'm looking forward to that one as well. 11 to 1, Saturday the 21st. Yeah, it'll be a okay. brunch will be served, and then Ooh. after that is... The talk. Okay. Yep. I got the three-minute cue. <laughs> also on Saturday the 21st, in the afternoon, the reason it's 11 to 1 is the big... The 95th National Coin Week, Richard Hand does this every year. He has a guest speaker, David Planet. Does that sound right? P-L-E-Y-N-E-T? I'm not sure. Uh, one to five in the big auditorium downstairs because yes. they have displays and they have coins and they give out samples. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, new med new I, I always mess it up. Do yeah. you know how to say it? I don't know how to say it. Coin collectors, coin, it's coin, easier to yes, say that. Coin collectors. Numismatists or something, something like, like that. that. I'm close, but I'm going to get scolded if I don't <laughs> pronounce it right. But that's a big hit. That's been going on 10, 15, maybe even 20 years so far. Yeah, and, and I saw last year was my first one, and, and Richard was great. And mm -hmm. he, he was great with the kids. Uh, kids love that. They, they come in there, and they walk away with a lot of things, a lot of uh, prizes and things like that. And, it's um, not your average video game. Not it's your coins, average, no. it's real stuff, and... It's fun to look at currency from other countries mm -hmm. and former era, different eras and stuff like that. So those are all the events that are, you know, kind of for adults. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of children's events that are going on. Tammy Campbell, right. who's Tammy the Jones Campbell. Librarian. There's an event on Wednesday, April 18th, a pop-up art school that there's a limit for 30 people. Yeah. So you got to sign up. That's right. Um, Thursday the 19th, the next day, New England Aquarium Tide Pool Open House, 2 to 4.30 in the Lingos Auditorium. Yep. A little more about that? Um, it, the New England Aquarium has a traveling tide pool that they bring to libraries, and, and um, we're having them come down, and it's going to be kind of like the, their, their, um, their, their touch tank that they have in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the aquarium up in Boston. And in the final minute we have left, cake pop decoration, Friday, <laughs> April 20th, 12 to 1.30 in the auditorium yeah. as well. So cake pop decoration, okay. That's the, what is that, the icing on the cake? I think, I think they have those little cake pop, their little uh, lollipops. And oh, okay. They're, they're cakes, but they're, they look like lollipops. And I know you did a cupcake decorating yep. thing a while ago. They're so always a big hit. All good things at the library. Yeah. Website, brockdenpubliclibrary.org. That's right. 508 580 7890 is the main number. Yep. 304 Main Street. 304 Main Street. Perfect. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Mark. Always a pleasure. Likewise. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.